Hello and welcome to our first Dreamweaver website design project. In this series you'll learn how to build a complete website from start to finish using Dreamweaver CS6. You can use your own images and resources for this project or if you prefer you can download all of the project files shown in these tutorials. You can also get the complete series manual in printed or ebook format along with the high definition video tutorials from wizzybooks.com. In this lesson we're going to continue working on our CSS file and just so that we can see what we're going to be doing I'm just going to open up the finished version of the website. So here you can see we've got our website and on the background here you can see that we've got this crumpled black paper effect and that's our background image. Now if I scroll down the web page you'll notice that that background image doesn't move it stays fixed. So we're going to be placing that image into our CSS code. In previous lessons we've seen how we insert images into HTML and it's slightly different when we're inserting them into CSS. So let's have a look at how we do that. I'll just minimize this window and return to the Dreamweaver screen. So I've opened up my HTML document and I'm looking at the styles.css code. I've also arranged it in split view so that we can see what happens as we change our code. So that we can see our code clearly, I'm just going to adjust this line of code for the body section and make it display slightly different. I'm going to arrange it so that each of the rules are sitting on a line of their own. And when it's displayed like this, it's easier to add new rules one by one. So I'll place my cursor at the end of the line of the first rule and I'm going to press enter. And when I do that, the code hint window appears. Now CSS is a fairly simple computer language to get used to because it uses plain English. My task here is to insert a background image. And if I start to type background into the CSS, you'll see that the code hints will bring up the items that it possibly thinks I'm after. And I can see background image in the list. So all I need to do is to use the cursor key on my keyboard to scroll down until I get to the attribute that I'm after. Once I'm there, I can press enter, and again, the code hint window will appear. Now, if you remember, when we were inserting images into HTML, we used the source attribute, which then allowed us to browse for the file that we're after. Well, browse is in the list as we see it now. So I'm just going to select that one, and when I press enter, the same browse dialog box will open. I'm in my image folder, and I can see the file that I'm after. So it's this one here, the black background. And when I click on that one, it will give me a preview. For those of you using your own images, this is the dimensions of this image. So I've selected the black background image, and I'm going to choose OK. And when I do that, Dreamweaver will put the URL for that image into my CSS for me. Now one final thing, I need to finish this line of code with a semicolon. So I'll type that one in. And now I've got two items for the body selector. I'm just going to come across and click in the preview window and when I do that you'll see that that background image appears. I'm just going to save this file so I'll come up to file and save and over here in the preview it gives us a rough idea of what our website will look like but let's preview it in the browser so I'm going to press F12 to open up my default browser and you can see there the background has been placed in and that's all looking fine. If I scroll down the page, you'll notice that the background scrolls as well. Well, I want our background to remain static, and that's what we'll work on next. So I'm just going to minimize this, come back into Dreamweaver, and I'm going to add another rule to this body selector. So my cursor is sitting at the end of the last line of code I entered, and I'm going to press Enter or Return on the keyboard. Again, when I do that, the code hints open and I want to fix that background. So to do that, I'm going to type in background and the one I'm after is background attachment. So I'll scroll down to that one and press enter and then the value for that is going to be fixed. So I'll come down to fixed and again press enter. I need to finish this line of code with a semicolon so I'll type that in and then I'll save this document again. Let's look at that in Google Chrome. I'll refresh the page 
and now when I scroll you'll see that that background image is static. I'll just minimize this and go back to Dreamweaver and I just need to do one more thing here. Because I've added a black background and all of the text in my document is black it's now very hard to read. So what we'll do is we'll change this text color to white and we'll do it for all of the text within our body section. So to do that again still in the body selector we can enter another rule to change the text to white. Again I'll place my cursor at the end of the last line of code and press enter and you might think I need to type in text color but in fact all I need to do is type color. So I'll start to type that and as I do you'll see color appear in the list of code hints and just note this is the American spelling of color so it doesn't have the U. Color is selected in the code hint so I'll press enter and when I do that Dreamweaver puts the colon in there for me. Now in the list of code hints we've got the color palette here and if I double click on that that will actually open up this palette so I can change my font to any of the colors here. I've also got more colors that I can choose from if I click on the color wheel and that will open up the color dialog box where I can choose any color I like. I'm just going to come down and choose the white color and say OK. And you can see that the hexadecimal code for white is FFF. We'll get more used to these hexadecimal numbers as we create more web pages with lots of different colors. I'm going to finish this line of text off with a semicolon. And now if I come across and click into my preview window, you'll see that the links here are now white. I'll scroll down and all of my text is also white. Let's save that. And let's switch back to the preview. Once we're there, we'll refresh. And now you can see our background image is static and all of our fonts are white. If you found this series of videos helpful and you want to receive updates on video tutorials as they're released, why not subscribe to my channel? And don't forget to like and share it with your friends.